Hello, this is Mel Breeze. What kind of music do I do? Jazz. I am here to talk about my upcoming album, Animazonia by Blue Canal Records. I am really excited about this album because this is my first US release, even though this is my ninth album. It's all based around Brazilian music, um, which Meltem loves, and uh, I, I think we all love Brazilian music. But we wanted to approach our way. We picked 12 Brazilian jazz songs. Also, they are all composed by Brazilian musicians. Some beautiful selections here, and Scott Kinsey did all the arrangements. Fantastic, very uh, unique in some way, complex, but, but so beautiful. There's no limits. In music, there's no limits. Your imagination is a limit. If you hear it in your head, it can work. This is the first album that I put my ideas into it. My producer believed in me, and they listened to me, and they helped me to put my ideas into this music. With my ideas and with my singing, I'm there. Quiet nights of quiet stars. We started two years ago and finally we finished it. It was a very creative and very productive journey actually. All the music was selected by Mel Breeze and uh, Scott actually did uh, bring in some interesting pieces of music as well. So I get this WhatsApp from Mel Breeze. She, she sends me a picture and it's a photograph of a sitar. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, that's an Indian instrument. I was in India. She says, what would you think about the idea of, you know, incorporating into this Brazilian music? Yeah, that's an awesome idea, you know? We added some different instruments from all over the world, such as from India, star and tabla, from Turkey, kemenche and tulum. And also they are all played by local musicians from Turkey and from India. So yeah, I found a sitar player and a tabla player in, in um, Hyderabad. Next thing you know, we were in the studio recording. Just We didn't know what we were doing, actually. That was actually the very beginning of the record. And all that was utilized in the tracks. I can't say my favorite song because these are all very special for me. For example, Anima. When I was a kid, funny enough, my dad had this Milton Nascimento CD and I couldn't remember the name of it, I couldn't remember what it was. But I just remember I loved that one song off the CD. <laughs> I know other Nascimento songs, but Anima, I didn't hear. And my producer, Scott Kinsey, suggested to me. And I listened and I loved it. And I love that we have our own special, you know, Mel Breeze version that is really similar in many ways and completely different in other ways. <laughs> I think it's funkier, it's like the way that Jimmy and Gergo play together and it's, and it's incredible. But it has that positive spirit. Also, the album got its name from Anima, Anima Zonia. The other song, for example, The Island, that song, when I first heard, I was in love totally with that song and I was thrilled. I can see the and how insensitive another song that I love, I love it, you know. Now he's gone away and I'm alone with the memory of his last 
There's some wonderful musicians on this project. Gary Nowak, Cyril Latef, Gergo Borlai on drums, Adrian Ferro, and one and only Jimmy Haslip on bass. And it was really a great experience. I had so much fun doing it. I have the best time with Jimmy and, you know, Gary and Gergo are a blast. Brad Dutz, Selim Bölükbaşı, Bob Reynolds, Jeff Richman, Arton Manikyan, and another one and only Scott Kinsey on keyboards. Scott had a great suggestion to bring in a drummer from France. Cyril Ataf, he's a very interesting drummer and has actually a, a, a very wonderful visual show which you can't see on the record because he's a showman and he's a, very animated when he plays. When I process like, okay, we're doing a Mel Breeze record. What does that mean? Well, it means that basically, if it's ordinary, <laughs> it's out. As you can see, we have a, an eclectic bunch of fellows and wonderful musicians on this record. Scott did just the most amazing job with the arrangements. Very talented musicians, very great musicians. I would like to thank to each of them from the bottom of my heart. Thank you guys. We did a great job. And Mel Tem sang so beautifully on all these songs. Mel Breeze did. I would like to extend my special thanks to my great producers, my friend Jimmy Haslip and Scott Kinsey for believing in me and helping me put the sound in my head to this beautiful album. We were able to uh, bring your imagination to life with this music. And also, I would like to thank to Blue Canoe Records. They believed in me too. Thank you, Blue Canoe Records. Make believe we've landed on a desert island. I love working with Scott and I love working with Mel Breeze and I think uh, you'll all be surprised and uh, wonderfully happy to listen to this music. Our music making made this album very special and very unique, I think. I've never really heard a Brazilian music record sound like this. Touch me till I tremble. I think people might find it interesting because it's just really totally different from any other take on Brazilian music. These instruments and our approach to music making created an avant-garde sound. And that's Mal Breeze, and that's us. As far as I, I'm concerned, I think it's incredible and so unique and interesting. I'm proud of it. You should buy it. You should get it. You should love it. Catch me while I'm falling. Keep your arms around me. Like there's no tomorrow. Let me know you love me.